always check hair and makeup before filming or else. TV man, fly gang. It's good to see y'all again. Uh, good to be here with y'all. So today we just finished going shopping, and uh, I'm gonna cook some dinner for P. Um, one of my favorite meals that I like to eat. So it's gonna be baked mac and cheese with uh, barbecue beef short ribs. Oh my god, it's gonna be so good, so good. So uh, it's gonna be my first time cooking out here in Cali, um, and uh, so I had to go to this store because they don't have a lot of stores out here that they do back home. So I couldn't find this little special cheese that I use, but <clears throat> we're gonna make do anyway. It's gonna come out good. So uh, this is what we got. We got grape juice, cheese right here. Uh, this is the Mexican four cheese. I just switched it up because they didn't really have much the cheeses that I use, but whatever. We got some Kobe Jack cheese right here too, guys. All right. Uh, and then, Then we got our California natural sharp cheddar cheese. Okay, cool. We got that, that right there. Bam, bam. Oh, we bought some ice creams. Uh, P got boom chocolata, boom chocolata cookie core. She so usually get the brownie core, but they didn't have the brownie core. And I got the uh, strawberry cheesecake. You already know. Oh, you already know. You already know. All right, cool. Uh, evaporated milk. That's for the baking and cheese. Aluminum foil to put over the top. You don't want the top to get too crispy. You want to make some melty. You need a little bit of salt. Oh, I got our garlic salt. Uh, onion powder. I just need some more. It's a little bit of seasoning. Elbows, guys. You guys can use elbows or whatever it is that you guys use. I know some people make big ziti instead, but no, we're going to use those. And then this right here for the short ribs. This is the best sauce that I like to use. I really don't use anything else. KC Masterpiece. If it ain't KC Masterpiece, then it ain't good. Um, I usually get the honey molasses one, but they didn't have the honey molasses one. So this is the hickory brown sugar. Uh, but for those of you that know, that honey molasses, man. Ooh, 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 ooh. it's amazing. Um, and yeah, we got, uh, we got your typical beef short ribs right here. Boom, boom, beef, not pork. So uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna cook P uh, dinner. Uh, it's gonna be the first dinner I've ever cooked with you. So, uh, yeah, wish me luck. Oh, it's good. Oh, and there she goes. Hey, P. Hi. Hey. Okay, yeah, so uh, I'm gonna get back at you guys once I kind of get everything together and show you how I, you know, chef it up in the kitchen. You know what I mean? It's gonna be the pot for the pasta. So, all I do for my pasta is uh, before I put the big mac and cheese part is garlic salt. So, I just, you know, season the water with garlic salt. This way, the noodles have a little bit of taste. And over here, we got the water boiling because what I like to do is just to make sure that the, uh, that the uh, ribs are actually cooked. Because as you can see, those are thick ribs. Those are really thick ribs. And um, <clears throat> I want to make sure that they're cooked. And I always uh, boil them first. Um, it helps it cook a little bit faster when I put it in the oven. And then um, what I do is I season the water because the water we're going to use, because we're going to be putting the water, using the water to um, keep this nice and moist when it's inside here. We don't want the meat to dry out. So we're going to use this excess water that comes from here. So that's why I season the water. I'm just going to go ahead and put these right in there. I don't have to season them because the water is seasoned. And most of our, our flavor is going to come from our hickory brown sugar KC Masterpiece barbecue sauce. He's over there doing laundry. Uh, together and the milk helps dries everything up. Okay, Mr. Chef Bombardi. Wait, is that a thing? What? Never mind. Chef Bombardi? No, yeah. it's Chef Buerta. Oh, yeah, that. Alright, guys, so we're almost so done now. We got a little fork here. Cool. We're gonna grab one of these eggs out of here. And we're probably only gonna need two, two eggs. The egg is, what the egg does is it's gonna hold the mac and cheese together. Like, so it's not falling apart. That's what the egg is for. Two eggs. We're gonna 
add some of this in here. So what that does, it's gonna help it, the evaporated milk is gonna help everything dry up when you put it in the oven. So um, the egg's gonna help it stick together and the milk's gonna help just everything dry up when they're evaporated. Just a thin layer. So I'm gonna try to do three layers. Then we're gonna get our cheeses. Our cheese is ready. We got our ribs. Oh man. This is looking good over here. Let's give you guys a let me give you guys a sneak peek real quick. Look at that. Right there. Oh, yeah, it smells good. It smells a little bit longer in there. Those will be good. Alright, so get our evaporated milk. So, what we're going to do here is just like this. I'm trying to just get it all on there. Just layers. I usually pour it, but uh, you can take a fork and just do this too. You don't try to get it. So you're not putting too much on one spot. So that's why it's good to use a fork or a spoon. And then, you know, just cover it as best you can. Boom. So I pretty much just covered the whole thing right there. Just like that. Like, what that does is help that stick together. So boom. Now what we're going to do, take a little bit of our shred. Put a little bit of our shred in there. Jack. Oh man, this is the one right here. Oh, this is going to be the mood setter. Oh, Jack. Take a slice though, right on top. Bang. These are boneless beef ribs. Oh, let me just see. Pick one of them up. Look at that. 
Look at that fork just go right in there. Oh my God, y'all don't even know. Y'all don't know nothing about that. See how that fork just, do that, okay. All right, oh yeah. Anyways, and then the baked mac right here. Let me do, let me cut into that for y'all real quick. Pete, Pete don't even know what the fuck she about to eat. She's just like, that shit smell good. And do this for y'all. Watch this. Pete, Pete's over there shocked. <laughs> She's shocked right now. Right? She can't believe I just did this. Do this. Oh my God. Oh wow, look at that. I want to go all the way to the bottom so y'all can see that. The cheese, cheesiness in there. See that? That good stuff right there. See that? Look at that. Oh, the. <laughs> Yeah, man. Let me taste test. Oh, man, it smells good. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Damn, she is about to have an orgasm of a lifetime. Oh, my word. Yo, you. Got you, hold on. You gotta get this reaction though. Ew, no, I'm ugly. It's okay. Yeah, man, see, so you always see your boy the cook, man. It's nothing. It's just it's a little something. It's a little something I can do. But, guys, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, man. You guys know I love Thank you. all you guys, man, for tuning in, watching my videos, liking, commenting, man. We're going to keep dropping these bangers.